Hello Libra, it's Erica here to do a love reading for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at how the Venus and Pisces transit that goes from January 13th through February 7th will be affecting your sign. This is actually the second part of a longer video that I did specific to how that particular transit of the Venus, the sign of the planet of love, um, will be affecting the collective. So I definitely recommend going to check that out to get a lot more information. And this is just going to be how that transit's going to impact each of the zodiac signs. And I'll link that original video down below, but there's it's about a 30 minute video, so lots of info there. And this is be for sun, Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, or if you have a lot of Libra in your chart, or a lot of air in your chart. Obviously, this is general. It will not resonate for everybody. So do go check out the other uh, videos for the signs that make up your natal chart. They can often resonate even more. And cross watchers, certainly, if it feels like I'm talking to you and I'm talking to Libra, then by all means, um, take it as it resonates. So with that, let's see what is going. Oh, I didn't start my clock. Hold on. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going on for Libra. How is this transit going to be impacting the sign of Libra? Oh, and we're getting the sacred woman. That is powerful. This is about the beacon of light that comes from the feminine, the sacred feminine, that is often a very healing energy. The sacred woman is somebody that is shows up when this is about being honored and being respected and that oftentimes um, in relationships we we don't always uh, respect ourselves and therefore our partner doesn't respect us and so this is really calling everyone to the mat about are you being honored in the way that you deserve and are you being honoring in um, your relationship as well so let's get some more cards to see why this is coming in so we're getting have patience okay so it's possible that there's um, a situation that maybe isn't moving as quickly um, as maybe you had hoped. Maybe it's an energy of allowing somebody to trip and make some mistakes here when it comes to love and relationships and honoring you. Um, so there's an I'm interested to see how this is going to play out in the rest of the cards. But um, so we're getting half patience. And then we're getting demonstrate love. So this is some, it feels like there could be somebody in this transit, during this transit, who's ready to um, show you that they, how they feel about you, show you um, their feelings for you. But it does feel like there's something here where it's a little bit of a rookie energy I'm feeling. It's like somebody might not know how to demonstrate their love in a way that represents really how they feel, but they're going to try. Um, so it's almost like, and someone may be needing to be patient through this process and understand that, you know, nobody's perfect. Um, maybe this isn't exactly how, um, it could also, oh, thank you. They just gave it to me. So some of you could have been waiting for somebody to show you how they feel about you and to actually demonstrate the love, like not only, and also understand, and it could have been something you've been waiting on here. So let's get a sense of the, what's actually happening here, Libra. Let's get one card here. And the first card out is the seven of orbs, man. So many of these readings are getting the seven of orbs in the first position here. So obviously, this is the collective. We are all going through similar themes at the same time. We are swimming in the same cosmic pool of energies. And to think that there's going to be drastically different themes coming up for different zodiac signs just means you don't understand how that works. So um, certainly it impacts different signs in different ways, different nuances, different aspects, and certainly all different circumstances. But there's something here where there may have been something that was... not quite above board in the past maybe something that somebody wasn't being honest with themselves maybe they weren't being honest with you maybe you weren't being honest with them so let's actually see what comes after this 
And then we're getting the seven of crystals. That's the seven of pentacles, obviously. So we're getting two sevens. So like a big spiritual lesson here. And there's a seven here on the 17 card. So I do feel like there's a big spiritual lesson coming in. And it's, it does feel like, again, I'm feeling now more with these cards coming in the way they are, that this is something that you've been patient about. You've been waiting for this. You've been ready to, you know, heal a, a situation possibly, but you're ready to be honored and respected as being sacred. Whether you're a, a you know, a woman or a man, it's, it's, it's the energy that I'm tuning into. So this could be something that you've been waiting for with the seven of pentacles. Unsure whether something was going to manifest here. Um, let's get another card. And then we're getting the ten of flames. Wow, okay. So it does feel like somebody is ready. Somebody's coming in to possibly take some responsibility for something that wasn't quite right before. And maybe this has been a long time coming. Maybe this was something where um, they, somebody needed to work something out before coming forward and it just wasn't the right time. Maybe they had to take care of some things before coming forward. And it does, this person is carrying this, 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 these burdens up the stairs. So to me, I'm getting the real strong message that somebody has climbed out of a pretty big, a, a lot of darkness um, and they're, they're following their light. They're ready for this new beginning and they're climbing the stairs out of this darkness. Let's see what else is next. We're getting the five of orbs. Wow. Okay. So this is the energy of <coughs> the five of swords. So this is about defeating conflict. It does feel like somebody in this situation had to work something out that was not easy and battling some mental demons, possibly really being conflicted, being uncertain, but it does look like they're emerging victoriously out of this here. And you may have been very patient Libra through this process, whether it's you or whether it's them, but, um, there is the element of patience here while someone is figuring out what's important around love and then actually doing something and let's get another card and then we're getting the six of crystals wow the six of pentacles so this is somebody who's ready to give and to demonstrate this love there's balance coming back into this situation this can be a bit of a card a little bit of justice but this is where suddenly something's ready to be in balance because it wasn't in balance before and things were um, taking their time to, to transpire in order to bring this balance back, especially if someone's been in the dark here pretty deep and, uh, but they're now, it's like they're, I'm hearing the word restored. Okay. Why is the seven of orbs here? Luck is on your side. Interesting. So something's, something's really moved. It's like something's been elevated to the truth and things are, things are looking up almost like whatever happened here, the universe was helping things move along into the new start and a, and a new, uh, or to the revelations, sort of like the divine was helping this thing move forward. Even if maybe you weren't aware of that. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Communication is key. So someone's coming forward with some new communication that you've been waiting on. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming and they're ready to come bring this forward. Now, why is the 10 of flames here? Don't let pride get in your way. So someone's really coming forward after having, like I said, having brought, come out of a very significant dark period. They've been overwhelmed. They're taking their spot. They're bearing the responsibility of get of the darkness from the past. But we are getting the full moon in Leo. So this is about they're ending a cycle 
of knowing what they want to do. And I'm again, I was really drawn to how this, this card here has this one flame, the Ace of Flames, that's leading the way. So this, you're, it's like this person has been through the dark night of the soul and the light and the spiritual truth and the spiritual path is leading them up. And they're, and they're, they're not letting pride get in their way. So there's something that they're ashamed of, something that they are not happy about, guilty about. Maybe they made a mistake and they've hesitated coming forward because they felt prideful and embarrassed. And tell me why the five of orbs is here. A time for healing. See, the sacred woman heals and this, whatever has been, has gone on. This is, can be a card of victory and healing. So we're getting, this is a time to heal whatever had happened in the past here. This does feel like, um, and not even necessarily, a, it may not even be in the form of a relationship necessarily for all of you, but this is healing of yourself, healing yourself from your dark night of the soul, coming back, re-emerging, having something to give. I am getting that some of you may have gone through a pretty deep depression and maybe we're afraid to admit it. And it's obviously just for some of you, but you're coming out. You're coming out of that. So let's see here why the six of crystals is here. Surrender to the divine. Yeah. Somebody's not fighting their de their their path anymore. They're not fighting, you know, what they're supposed to go through. And somebody here has gone through looking at the things they never wanted to look at because they were really that dark. But they've done it. And now this is about surrendering to their path. All right, Libra. So someone's being reborn here someone's coming out of a really dark period and into more balance which is beautiful so let's get a guidance card for you as we wrap this up and we're getting gentleness so this is about being kind to yourself and others honoring your gentleness and speaking words of love so whoever this is it's important to remember again this card has come out for um I can't remember which reading it was, but this is the second time this card has come out as guidance. So there's something here where, you know, the sun is setting here. It's time to come back to gentleness, whatever it's been. Let's just come back together. There's something beautiful here that in the energy of love and being kind and gentle. So with that, Libra, I hope that was helpful and do go check out the other videos until next time. I send you much love. Bye.